Join here, phoenixtechwriter.com. Let me turn this fan off here. All right. Blowing kind of hard. Okay. I got a model Royal, Royal Model O. And I'm trying to take the lid off it. And as I've seen many times, these screws back here, number one, they have a very skinny slot. So they can really only take this really thin screwdriver and even that barely fits. It's also not a hollow ground tip. My good hollow ground tip is this, and it's about as small as it gets. It will not fit in that slot. It actually fits in this slot, but I can't get it to budge. But we're just going to, on camera, uh, do put a, a bigger slot in the screw with the Dremel tool. So we just need to get the right angle here. That's a factor, so let's put this thing up a little bit so I can, because the slot on that screw is, is just like that right there. So we want to, of course, match the slot. So let's do that with the camera on. I'm just going to make a new slot here. Just like that. And then also I'm going to do this one here. Except I got my light. Just like that. Just open those up a little. Now, maybe even it might fit my bigger screwdriver. It does. And it's still tight, but it came loose. This one should fit too, then. It does. Oh, that's tight. But look at that. Got a lot better grip. Got these out. So that's what needs to be done sometimes with vintage screws. Of course, these are behind the carriage. You really never see them. So there's no harm, no foul in making these a little bit scarred up. That was it. Short video. How to cut a slot and a screw with a Dremel tool. Phoenix typewriter. Good day.